Hello, this is Double O Debbie, and we're starting a new series. It's been a while since I recorded, and I figured, uh, why not start off with something new that we haven't done before? So, um, I thought about it, <laughs> and I have to say, Crash Landing is probably one of my favorite mod packs. Uh, it's got HQM. Uh, it was. Uh, I have to be honest, it was a lot annoying at first, dealing with thirst uh, and the, the all the hunger that comes with it, but in the end I think it makes a great challenge. It makes you think, uh, well how, how can I build something to help me deal with this, so <laughs> that's pretty nice. Uh, but anyway, let's get down to it. Uh, I went ahead and started the, the video paused so that I could talk and uh, without passing the time in the game. So another thing I want to say is that I am playing on uh, version 112 uh, because there's several reasons. Uh, some of the things are changed in the newest version in 113. Um, for one they change the default way the mobs act, the default AI. Uh, in 112 they have the old AI where the mobs all try to get you. I know it sounds scary but I played both versions and I like the 112 better because you can use that AI against them. Yes, the smarter the mobs the harder they fall. <laughs> so that's that's one of the reasons. Another one of the reasons is get a little sip of coffee. Mmm. Um is that the the extra cities uh that you go and explore they're random. Which is cool because you could find something really cool, but there's no guarantee. So in one one two the city is set. I mean, they're all set, so you know you're going to get what you need from the first city you discover, which which is a bonus. <laughs> uh, you know there's a city out there that has a reactor in it so that you can get that going. Uh, in 113, it's it's all random. You You get lucky if you find it. So I mean, I played it and several, one of the games, I could not find any of the uh, buildings for uh, Tinker's Construct or for Pneumatic Craft. So it was, I just couldn't find them in any of the cities that I found. And then the next one I played, it was in the very first one. So again. <laughs> The, the reason why, that's another reason why I chose the 112. I think it's uh, a little bit better to, to know that when I go to that city, it's going to have what I want. <laughs> Plus other things. Uh, that's just cool. Anyway, so that's enough gabbing, I guess. And let's get down to it. Uh, for starters, I believe uh, mob griefing is turned off. But we're going to have to do a couple of commands, or at least one, to get the ball going. Um, so we have to type, just like the sign says, H HQM Quest. And it might, sometimes it's already activated. There we go. Okay, and it gives you an extra book. I am playing with the texture pack. Um, this is supposed to be... A futuristic texture pack so where is the oh it did not go to I guess that was because uh, the little book flopped because I had two oh I don't want to put that there okay so we need to get our camel pack we're gonna do this first quest and this <laughs> We'll read that later, but we really need to get going uh, to to make sure we can survive. Okay, so we need to get these two fluid transposers so we get the camel pack and some water. And all we have to do is boop, boop, 
knock those guys out, and then claim the reward. Boy, this texture pack. I mean, it looks really cool, but <laughs> it's kind of hard to get used to. Okay, so we need to put this camel pack in. Well, the cold bottles won't work. Do, 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 do. Oh, and this is a cool thing. If you push W while you're in, this is only works for your personal crafting grid. And I think it only works for uh, crash landing. If you hold W down and click, it goes right into your crafting table, uh, your crafting grid there, which makes it a little bit easier. Uh, To, to keep loading in that up so many times. Um, let's uh, put that guy down there. I really like... Oh man. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Alright. Um, we have some ammo for our needle gun. Let's go grab the needle gun. Because I don't want to forget it. And let's load it up too because... I know I'll forget and I'll go and I'll try to shoot something and and I'll be like what? I can't shoot because I didn't load the ammo. <gasps> what the? Look at those flames. Wow that looks cool. Did you see that? That was um really weird. Look at how cool the water looks and the clay. Oh man that's pretty cool. I like the the breaking effect on it too. Oh yeah uh Let's show you what that is. The texture pack is called New World. It's pretty cool. I thought a futuristic texture pack would be kind of cool for crash landing. Anyway, we've crash landed here in our spaceship on this dry, barren desert planet. And now we've got to get some dust. Um, got to gather quite a bit so that uh, once nighttime hits, we'll have something to do while we're stuck in our little uh, ship over there. We'll have to barricade ourselves in. I know I could go in, I could do some of the quests right now, but. Uh, I think my time would be most useful during the day uh, spent gathering dust <laughs> because we need we need certain things to happen as quickly as possible. Well, I mean it's not necessary that it happens as quickly as possible, but it is <laughs> beneficial to us. And um, I know we'll have the little glass over there to help us see out. But I like clearing out the dust in front of the cockpit uh, so that I can see out both the front and the back windows. So let's just kind of jump up here and clear this off. <laughs> Those blue flames. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh! Hit that road lamp. make sure we just get the front of the cockpit cleaned up a little. Before <laughs> before nighttime falls. We don't want to be stuck in there and not be able to see clearly. Because we like seeing clearly. And even, you know, that little bit could help with our morale, being stuck here with nothing but dust to see. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, there's so much, so much dust everywhere. I like to get, you know, I don't know, four or five stacks of dust, uh, because we want to make sure we get, um, enough cobblestone through sifting to make a slab furnace. Uh, that will help a bunch. And now we're going to come over here and do uh, 
something really dangerous. I'm gonna come over here and sneak, sneak, sneak. And we're just gonna cover up the front of this. Ooh, and, and get away. <laughs> get away as quickly as possible. Because that's hot. And being next to flame will uh, will cause your temperature to go up, which is bad <laughs> uh, because that causes you to drink water more quickly. And at first, that water is very precious. I know. Uh, <laughs> I have tried this on hardcore. Let me tell you, it it is crazy. Um, you don't want to try it unless you know what you're doing or you're just a pro. I guess I'm not just a, just not a pro. <laughs> I'm a noob. No, not really. Uh, I'm just saying that. I am. I am a noob. Uh, you, you just have to be pretty flawless um, when you're playing on hardcore, uh, on the hard mode. You can't you can't make a mistake and everything just has to go perfectly otherwise you die. Um, I'll probably do uh easy <laughs> the easy route just because uh, it takes a little bit of the stress off because this is a really intense mod pack. Okay, let's see. I think Yeah, there we go. That's good. Uh later we're going to build um yeah, we got a little bit of time, so let's uh let's start on the trench. Okay, so we want it to just, we're going to dig all of this area out. One, two, three. Yeah, that's good. Get us a little area in the front, like our little front yard, so that we'll have room to plant trees and get some crops going. Uh, it's not going to be uh, a lot of room or permanent. Uh, we'll probably expand further later on, but for now, this is pretty good. Um, do, 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 do. There. I know I probably I won't be able to finish it, but it's a start. It's a start. The mobs are just, uh, they're pretty bad in this. <laughs> really bad. Really, really, really bad. Okay, we're gonna make it too wide. Okay. And I, I played this before. Um, sometimes I get cocky and I, and I don't do the fortifications for my base and then later I remember why you do the fortifications for your base because I died. <laughs> uh, it just things just happen to have to go so wrong and then yeah we better get inside. Well that's almost four stacks. That's that's uh, pretty close to target. Let's get that closed up. I like it that you can break this dark glass uh, with your hand and not lose it. That's pretty cool. And let's go ahead and... Um, what is this? I, I think this might be... Um, I don't know, something to do with your vision if you're coming inside. Do you see the, the stuff around the edge? That is weird. Uh, it kind of fades after a bit, but... Okay. Um, so, let's start doing the quest. <laughs> Look at the darkness descending out there. It's it's scary. Okay, we're going to want to take the easy route. The hard 
the difference between them is uh, the easy route you get oh man those monsters look really creepy in this texture pack uh, you get the leadstone energy cell and the shell, cons shell constructor which is a huge difference uh, that gives you your extra life um, you get some pe a little bit of food you get a lot of bone meal, a whole stack. Uh, you get extra needle gun ammos. And you also get an oak sapling. If you want to check that out, uh, you only get one needle gun ammo, eight bone meal, spruce, and a birch. So you don't get oak, which uh, means you don't get apples. <laughs> so apples are a pretty good source of food early on. So, let's come in this little chest and see what goodies. We have a little bit of food. Oh, man. <sighs> These guys. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have to turn that down even further. Because, wow, it's really loud. Oh, look, he's only half a dude. What's that? Um. Oh man, those look really scary. Okay, well, <laughs> let's get this stuff going. Um, do, 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 do. we'll put this here. They're looking at me. They know I'm in here. They know. Okay, so we did. Oh, we didn't do the easy route. Uh, yeah, let's get out of the hard route. Let's go the easy route. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> so what we want to do is come over here and get the sink shell going. Oh, look at that background. That looks really cool. All right, so let's set this down. Set down the shell constructor, and we'll have to configure this to output to the right and smack it and look it's building it's building me that is awesome okay uh, there's some more ammo which is awesome there's our oak sapling let's go ahead and put the birch one away and there's our bone meal and we have three glass, glass bottles. Okay, let's go ahead and do up the quest that we can before we uh, drink water on accident. Uh, some of the quests can be completed early on if you still have water. Like uh, this one to get the dirt. It's important you don't drink all your water uh, because if you, you can't get that first piece of dirt, you're kind of hosed. Uh, so let's get the dirt. And then we'll be able to do the drinking mud quest as well by combining it, uh, the dirt, with an empty bottle, getting this, and we'll get the dirt back. So that gives us a little bit uh, extra. So here's the dirt. It looks a little different. Put it with an empty water bottle, and we get a dirty water bottle. And then we turn this in, get it back, and shazam! Now I'm pretty sure uh, we can do this one because we do have an extra water bottle. So let's go ahead and do that one. That's going to get us some more empty bottles and it's going to basically turn the water bottle into a cold water bottle. So there we go. And that's pretty much it <laughs> uh, until the morning. So now we have dirt and a sapling. Let's go ahead. Uh, I know there should be a cold water bottle in there. There we go. And let's um, let's put these PB and J's somewhere safe. We're probably gonna need them. <laughs> okay, and our water is going down. So let's get this. Uh, filled up again. There we go. And 
I like doing uh, three at a time. That way I don't have to load it up again for just one bottle. I know, I'm picky. I'm picky. Um, oh, look at my hunger. Let's eat a little bit. I really like uh, the hunger aspect. Oh my god, look at that little blue creeper thingy. Oh, those guys look so angry. So, <laughs> what we have to do now is sift, and our main goal with the sifting is, well, <clears throat> there are several goals, is to get 24 of these stones and 8 pulverized iron, which, uh, uh the pulverized iron isn't going to be very hard, but getting the 24 stones, whew, that is going to be a doozy. Oh, um, I think our, I think if you push M, it brings up the mini-map options. Our radar's on. Show hostels, okay. Um. Which. Okay, let's see if we can uh, find out what the key binds are. Controls. Uh, Z is to zoom in and out. Okay, let's do this. Do Z. Huh, why isn't it showing up. Hmm, that's weird. That is really weird. <laughs> I've never had it not, uh, maybe the texture pack won't, won't allow it to show the mobs because they look different. Oh, we got two! It looks like it's getting lighter out. Oh, we don't have anything done, guys! anything. We only have three stones. The, the, the iron is pretty common. I'm, I'm pretty sure that by the time we get 24 stones, we're definitely going to have the iron. So it's really just um, the iron is sort of a side note, but getting the furnace is more important than the iron because you can't do anything with the iron unless you have the furnace. So <laughs> there you go. Um... And the, the iron is important because once we get two iron, we can make shears. Once we make shears, we can do all sorts of things, like get tons of water from the trees. Because you get, using the shears, you get a leaf every time. Plus you get the saplings if you do it manually. So it's a win-win. <laughs> you get leaves and saplings to replant the trees. So that is definitely a bonus and, and it's uh, going to help us survive on this dusty, barren planet. So <laughs> this is tons of fun, isn't it? Just sitting here chatting and oh, it looks like it's getting light out and we only have six stones. The best part of the morning is watching all of the mobs bite it. <laughs> Going, ha ha! Oh, you're allergic to sunlight, and I'm not. Neener, neener. Awesome. So maybe we'll finish up this stack of dust. Uh, the reason why it's so important to have this mob AI, you don't, you would think it would be more detrimental than helpful, but it is helpful because of this right here. You're gonna go out and there's gonna be tons of bones and zombie flesh lying on the ground. Uh, just waiting. Waiting for you to go pick it up. Okay, look, first of all, let's, uh, let's throw some of this. Oh, everything looks so different. Do, do, do. What is this? Oh, blaze powder? What? 
That looks kind of cool. Okay. Oh, let's uh, let's throw our iron in there. Oh, it, we can't. Oh, okay, this is the tough part. We're gonna have to go out. There's a spider on the roof. I can hear him. And there's a creeper right in front of us. What we've got to do is we've got to run out as quick as we can. <laughs> Get away. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for walking off. That makes this a little bit easier. And we got to be ready to run. Go, 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 go. Ah! Okay, we got spiders. That's okay. Oh, and string is good. Thank you. Oh, look, that dark creeper went into my ship. That's just no. Oh, there's a baby creeper in there, too. <sighs> okay. Um, this is where I like to... Oh, you're gonna... You're gonna come? Oh. He has no mouth. Shh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is where I like to turn on utility mode and get magnet. Yes. Magnet helps you get all the goodies. Um, I would really just like for those guys to despawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, down. Don't you go in there. Get out of there. Just don't. Oh, he's in there. See, see how you get all the goodies. The goodies are the goodies. Oh, this is the angry guy. Look at him. He's got four faces. See, and all the goodies are back here. No, I need my ammo. Oh, he's tough. Oh, oh, yeah. See? See, we would not have gotten this without the AI. Uh, because the mobs would have never accumulated that much. Because they would have just stayed out. Uh, you have to be 25 blocks away from the person before you can spawn. Oh, if you're a mob. <laughs> Not if you're me, if you're a mob. Alright, we got tons of stuff now. We gotta get this guy out of our house. <gasps> um, kitty pounce. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Oh, he's in there. He's in there. Come on, little buddy. Yeah, yeah, it's me. I'm home. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. What about that little one? Is he still in here? Okay. Phew. Oh, look. The clone is done. Awesome. Okay. Now we can do, do some cool things. Like plant our tree. What is that? Is that looks just totally weird. <laughs> the fire charge. Look at that. It's creeping me out. I'm seriously. Oh, look at that. 29 bones. 17 rotten flesh. That is food. Seriously. I know you don't think it is food, but <laughs> for us it is. <laughs> We've got to survive. Come on, grow tree. We're gonna need some wood. Ah! Oh, seriously, first try. Look at that. Look at how oak looks. That looks pretty cool. Very um, futuristic. Uh, kind of didn't want this humongous tree right off the bat, but okay. I think as far as uh, length of the video, what? Oh, hold on just a second. <laughs> That's my uh, my cat. 
well not my cat uh, my daughter's cat decided she wants to use me as like a highway uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm gonna end the episode here we're gonna get I'm gonna probably do this offline cut down this tree because it's humongous um, yeah and then we'll pick up next time probably I'll probably let it uh, finish out the night uh, so that we don't have to to sift more on camera <laughs> so it'll take a little bit of the tedium out for you guys anyway uh, let me know what you think I'm gonna try and do a video uh, once a week I am going to school uh, so a little bit busy I did want to try to get at least something going though I really miss uh, getting videos out there I really like uh, doing that so uh, let me know what you think and we'll see you next time thank you for watching and bye bye